But this sets up some guidelines to tell them that we can't do this under state law. Okay, but shouldn't it be left up to a city if they want to enact whatever policy that they would have? I mean, if, well, if, if you went back to your home city, which is Branch, and you wanted to enact a rule at which Little Rock did not, or we didn't want, want to enact in here, should, you, should your citizenry have the right to enact whatever laws they would, they would have or be necessary? As long as that law they enacted did not cost uh, put a monetary cost on the citizens of the rest of the state, I would say yes. But this is costing all of us. We're all paying for this. Okay. Whether it be through drug, uh, drug rehab, whether it be through, we're always looking for a Medicaid dollar to take care of the people we have in our, we don't even have enough money to take care of our own citizens. So we have Medicaid people in the state that are hungry. Senator, does Medicaid go to, to someone who is undocumented? No. Well, how would you know that? But that is well, let me ask you a question. When you go to a uh, emergency room, do they turn you down? No, Were you turned down when you go to an emergency room? Oh, oh, uh, you need to be asking questions, uh, Senator. Larry. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Chairman. So, so what I'm saying, that my, my first point was, this is a local, and this is a local rule issue. Number one, but number two is, is that. The, what you just stated, Senator, is just not a fact. If you are undocumented, you cannot receive Medicaid services. And then the, the, the last, last but not least, you stated something in regards to uh, illegal immigration and, uh, and, and equating them with rape or, or some sort of criminal piece. And I just, not, I just find that not, uh, I guess, decorum because any person could rape anybody. It doesn't have to make uh, an illegal person could, could do that, but any citizen could do that to someone else. And so I, I just don't find that equating a criminal history with someone who is undocumented, that's not, that, to me, that's not the decorum that I would say our, our state officials should take. I mean, crime is, is crime regardless of who it comes from. And so to equate that with an undocumented person is not right. Can I respond to that? Yes, please respond. Thank you, Representative Love. And I agree with you. Uh, just because someone has uh, committed a, a horrendous crime, even if they're, does not mean all illegals are like that. But the fact of the matter is that we have uh, women parents in the state who have lost children and other parents who have children or loved ones who have been uh, disabled or, or harmed or injured, not because of someone, but because of someone who's here illegally. Had that person not been here illegally, those people would still have their children. Okay. Representative Hall, you're recognized. 